Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Well, welcome. I hope you are enjoying God's blessing. Thank you for coming. You are welcome to my spiritual TV. Okay? On this channel, I share some spiritual tips with you. Spiritual tips that has worked so well for me and for others. You are going to come back to testify and give glory to God. So today, I'm going to teach you how to use honey. Honey to bring sweetness to your life. This is honey. And honey is very sweet. Honey means pleasure. Honey means satisfaction. Good news. Something good. So something good is going to happen in your life with this. God has created honey for our pleasure. God has created honey for our consumption. God has created honey to bring sweetness to our life. So now, let me tell you how to use honey to attract loss of wealth and financial favor. See, with honey, you are going to get money you did not even bargain for. Money you did not even work for. Free money. Unexpected financial blessing will just locate you sharp, sharp. And this is how you go about it. So you are going to get organic honey like this. This is organic honey. Well, any you can find. Any problem you have at all that is making your life uncomfortable. See, when you have a problem, your life will become uncomfortable. You are either thinking or worried or crying or weeping. That thing that is bringing tears to your eyes. Maybe you are sick or your husband is sick or your children, they are sick, or you are jobless, you have no money, or you are poor, or whatever you are doing is not productive, or you are single, you have been single for a long time, people are laughing at you, your life is miserable, or you have been married without a child, whichever, there is nothing bigger than God, God will give you sweetness, and God has given us these natural things. They are going to do wonders. I'm going to take honey like this. And wake up exactly 2 a.m. Go on your knees and pray to God. You say, God, I ask you for mercy. I know I've sinned against you. I've done lots of bad things. And I don't deserve answer. But because you are a merciful God, you see beyond our sin. I still have the courage to come to you for forgiveness. Have mercy upon me, Lord. I'm facing this problem. Now tell God what you are facing. Many of us, we have not actually told God what we are facing. Whatever you are facing, I'm not in your shoe. I'm only guessing. You will not know that thing that is bringing tears to your eyes every night. That thing that is making you to feel bad. That thing that people mock you with. You know that thing. Cry out to God. Tell God. Yes, in Matthew 7 verse 7, he said, Ask and you shall find. Seek and you shall receive. If you have not asked, how can you receive? If you are not looking for, how can you find? So now ask, God, I'm getting old, I'm not getting married. All the men coming to me are just here to use me. Or I've been married, no child. Or I've been poor. Thank God. See, stop complaining to people. People will only mock you and laugh at you. Use it to mock you and spread it. Tell people too to laugh at you. Look at this one poor woman. Look at this one. Her husband used to do this. They will laugh you. So now, tell him what you want now. First of all, you tell God your problem. Now, tell him what do you want him to do for you. In the Bible, Jesus Christ told blind Bartimaeus, now, what do you want me to do for you? It was not as if he was blind though. Jesus is a kind of person that always wants you to tell him what you want, to know you are serious. Some people, they just cry, God, you are seeing this. You are seeing what I'm going through. What are you going through? Tell him. You tell God. God in heaven, you made this honey. And this honey is very sweet. I want my life to be sweet, Lord. Let this honey dissolve every problem in my life. Let this honey attract loss of favor to me. Let this honey bring good news and good luck to me. Bless this honey for me, so that whatever I use this honey for, 
Whenever I taste this honey, my life will become sweet. Every bitterness, every pain, every struggle, every hardship will be washed away with this sweetness. My marriage shall be sweet like this honey. My business shall be productive and I shall enjoy lots of wealth. Let my helpers locate me. Let this hardship stop. Let this financial problem stop. Let money flow like a river and I will enjoy life the way people enjoy honey. Honey is good. Honey symbolizes happiness and sweetness. Enjoyment, pleasure, satisfaction, sweetness, favor. Lots of favor will come to you through this honey. Oh, honey, bring sweetness to my life. Life will be sweet to me from now on. I lick my sweetness. Every sickness in my body, every sickness, if you have a child that is sick, give that child to lick or anyone around you. But if it is not sickness, no problem. Lick the honey. When you lick the honey, do not like swallow it. Let the honey be in your mouth and prophesy. When honey is in your mouth, whatever you say will be like jazz. When honey is in your mouth, Whatever you tell people, they will do it. It's a spell. Okay? It's a spell. When you lick honey, like this, now speak. Speak. Whatever you want, sharp, sharp. God, I need abundant customers in my business. Let customers come. Lord, send me helpers. I need to be worthy. God, I need a child. I need to get married. Let honey be on your tongue. Your mouth is sweet. There is lots of favor in your mouth. Try this. For believe in God. The answer is from God. Okay?